Alright guys, welcome to your ninth XHTML tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be awesome because we're going to finally cover how to add images to our web page. I mean, how dumb is a web page without any images? Pretty dumb. So let's go ahead and learn how to add images to our web page. Now, in order to add an image to our web page, we first need an image, of course. So go on your computer, it doesn't matter anywhere, and grab the dumbest image you can find. Um, this chicken's pretty dumb but I want something a little dumber than that ah here we go look at this big old dummy let's go ahead and copy that that's me by the way and remember the file name it's my face dot ping and if you don't know the file name um all you need to do is this right click any image like it's a little inappropriate like this YouTube logo and click properties and the file name is going to be this and the extension is going to be the type of file right there so anyways if you don't know how to look up your file name or extension that's how you do it but anyways what we did is I copied that image of my face now where I need to put it is in the same folder where the HTML file is so I'm working from this folder right here you can see that index file that's this right here and let's just go ahead and paste that my face image right in there so now the picture and the website are in the same folder so don't forget this is named my face dot ping that's what type of file it is so in order to add an image to the website a you need to have them in the same folder done the next step is to add the image tag to your website and the special tag or a special keyword for an image is i m g and you know how I said before that there are two basic types of tags a double tag which has an opening and closing tag and a single tag well an image is one of those single tags makes sense because it's just one image you don't need to surround text with it or anything so image has one attribute that you absolutely need that's absolutely required and that's the SRC it stands for source I believe and it basically means what file do you want to use as this image in in here you type the name of the file that you want to use and mine was my face dot ping yours is probably going to be different but that's what mine is so that's all you need to do in order to take an image and place it on your website so let's go ahead and save this run and launch in chrome so now check it out this is probably one of the greatest websites i've ever seen just a website with my face on it. If I made this, it would get like a thousand hits a day because that's how awesome I am. I mean, look at this face. You don't see that every day. Anyways, so that is how you create a basic image and put it on your website. But since we learned how to make links, let's go ahead and combine the two to make something just incredibly awesome. See, now we just have a dumb old face on the website. We can't click it. It's not interactive at all. Say we want to take this image and turn it into a link and of course we're gonna link it to the newboston.com because that's the best website ever so what you can do is outside of your image tag go ahead and add your anchor tags opening and closing at the end now in your opening tag you need one attribute and that's of course if you remember the href attribute and this is pretty much what location or what website do you want to link it to and I want to link this to HTTP the new boston.com so let's go ahead and save this and refresh this and now you can see when we hover over our image it turns it into a little pointer finger which means we're hovering over a link so let's go ahead let me center this click that and check it out it's now going to take you to the new boston.com wow what an awesome website check out all my tutorials here Wow, this guy's a genius. I wonder who made this one. So anyways, that is how you make a basic image, and you can also turn it into a link this way. Some images you might not want to turn into links, but uh, you know, in this case, we did. So now that you understand the basics of images, we can begin diving in a little deeper and learning some other cool, neat tricks that goes along with them. But for now, that's all you get five minutes I'm tired I'm gonna go eat a hot pocket or go to McDonald's or something so for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to check out my other videos don't forget to go to my website and uh, you know don't forget anything and I'll see you later